Okay, so I'm gonna start off this video a little bit differently. First of all, I'm eating lamb, sweet potato, green and yellow, squash, zucchini, whatever you wanna call it, and then mushrooms. It's currently 9.30, so this is ending my fast. But quick announcement. So YouTube rep just emailed me and said, hey, a lot of your subscribers are not receiving your videos. So if you wanna see my videos each and every day, go down and hit the bell. Even if you're subscribed, you're not gonna see my videos, or most people will not see my videos because I didn't post for so long. So hit that bell. It's so, 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 so important. Make sure you hit that bell. And well, let's get on with this day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to eat. Let's do this. Okay, if you haven't already subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button and join the fam. So if you have already forgotten, the Body Evolution Challenge is a 60 day transformation workout challenge where you have to get started with Body Evo and you have a chance to win a full trip to come see me in Santa Monica, California and hang out with me, stay at my apartment and just vibe it and do some big things. So go to the link in the description, join the challenge and enter to win. Oh, shh. Jeez, that freaking hurt, Brennan. So let's get down to it. Today is body evolution day seven, and that means lower body for Ricky. Burns like a mofo. Now Ricky is starting to gain weight. I'm starting to gain even more weight, and I'm actually gonna be showing you a little bit more of my workout today in just a couple of hours, but first we have to hit lower body with the rip. Now one of the main reasons why I made this series was so that not only I could transform, not only he could transform, but more importantly, so you could take all of your insecurities, all your worries, all your frustrations about who can I trust for workout advice, who can I trust for nutritional advice, who can I trust for some motivation and provide it to you here every single freaking day. Daily vlogs is one of the hardest things to do, especially at this freaking quality. So I want to show you how easy it can be done by an expert, a fitness professional, but also a cinematographer and a photographer and a grocery store master and a kind of good chef and lead you on the path of success. Now if you didn't see day six, I did this. And every moment counts, baby. And then Patrick and I shot this beautiful woman. Yes, I have a lot of them in my life. And then I told you I was gonna show you the three best foods to build lean muscle, which that's coming today, I promise. Do you get super embarrassed at all, or do you have any insecurities about your body? Of course, always. I got big nips, just like you. Okay, that's <laughs> messed up. If I'm standing around like jack people, people who are like super, super fit, you know, I just want to be them. You want to be bigger, you want to be, yeah. look better. Well, that's why we're doing body evolution, we're, we're going to get better. In you. Hey, that's why yeah. he believes in you, hey. Playing in traffic, playing in traffic. Wow, are you kidding me? We have made it to the destination of choice and we're gonna be getting this workout in now It's gonna be a little bit different I'm gonna be explaining a little bit more of what he's doing so you can do it as well Or you really should just be following along with the body evil system check this out man because all this stuff works 20 30 minutes No excuses just grinding. You don't have to go into a gym. You don't have to worry about anything and let me guess Let me guess your upper body sore from yesterday. Definitely <laughs> so the good thing about working out anywhere, anytime, you can use anything you want, does not matter. Right now, we are making him get that blood flowing in his body. Look at those quick feet. I see you, boy. Oh, I see you. Oh, 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 snap. Now, Ricky is not a complete beginner, but he definitely has a long way to go. And already, yesterday, he was doing some human flags. <laughs> And he's getting stronger and I'm so excited for the future. So the first exercise that we're gonna be doing is just squat and exploding up. He has to really extend on that knee and make sure that he's on that midfoot the whole time. This is very, very important. Do not go forward at all. Neutral spine, this is going to save him. As you can see, he is not tightening up his stomach, which is going to make him come out of whack and that's why he keeps on going forward. Stay tight, stay contracted, there you go, and up. Good. Another thing you do not want to do is go too low, and that's what he's doing. So you want to go about at like a 45 degree angle. That's too low. You're still going to 90. Go a little higher. Right there. So we're so used to working our external rotators, meaning our glute and our outside of our legs, that we kind of forget about our adductors and everything that's inside our groin area. And that's why we get strained groins. And that's why he's burning right now, because this is a legit exercise that will make you work. Yeah, you see that? Finish. Boom. Boom. How's that feel? 
burns like a mofo. Proper structure, proper rest periods, sets, reps, everything is so, so important, including nutrition. And when you have someone that is telling you exactly what to do, it just makes everything easier. And you're not embarrassed going out because you're actually building muscle and you're seeing a difference in your body. Do you feel heavier already? Bro, I feel like I'm up. 200 pounds. All right, all right. So first of all, give us a thumbs up if this is what you enjoy most, learning more, or do you like the cinematics? Just give a thumbs up if you do enjoy this commentary. So with Ricky and this jump squat, he needs to be focusing on a few different things, that pushing those knees out, which is external rotation of those hips. As you can see, he's moving forward during each jump and not exploding, fully extending that knee. So what is he gonna do? He's gonna focus more on that middle foot, and then he's going to push backwards a little bit more, okay? Okay, And then here through this next movement is really for those adductors as I was explaining, but I want to explain a little bit more in detail and the reason why they're so tough. So as he's coming in with his actual legs, he's pushing out with his hands and what this is going to replace is those adductor movements in the gym and you can see he's scrolling around. It's really, 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 really tough, right? So Ricky is just killing it every single day and I'm so excited to keep on working with him. I'm so excited for you to start body. So here we have Ricky doing a split jump in these lunges, really working on fundamentals, staying tight, staying that core exactly where it needs to be, neutral spine. Whew, that is a nice freaking exercise right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, they kicked us out of the park. It's okay, we got the work in. And now it's time for my workout. Okay, I didn't start yet um, because I'm here with Maury. Oh, I'm inside of a freaking net. I'm here with Maury from PLC. What's the up, what's up, what's lab up? of Compton. <laughs> What is it, California? Is that even a state anymore? I thought it was a country now. This is gonna be a little bit more of me talking to you because I want you to understand like everything I'm doing, the movements, why I'm doing them, blah, 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 blah. You already know, let's get started. So now I wanna talk about my raw, uncut workout. Everyone wants to know about my workout. What am I doing? What's different? Remember, Ricky Garcia is going through Body Evo completely. I am not at that stage just yet. I am more so rehabbing and getting past those little movements that I have to get through in order to open up everything and be where I need to be in the coming weeks. So this is just rolling out, opening up my fascia adhesions. You should do this before every workout. Just roll out your muscles from head to toe. It's important to warm everything up. Next, I'm going to go into these warm-ups, and these warm-ups are very unique that I do, so just pay close attention. Do not do these exercises wrong. You want to make sure they're perfect. Here, I'm opening up my rhomboids and my upper traps while keeping that low spine in a neutral position and tight. I'm always tightening in my core. That will save my low spine and everything on my back so I don't get injured ever, ever again. Here, we're going into more of a bird dog, and this is a alternate exercise and I'm focusing on that core again, stabilizing. I'm also gonna be working that glute and the rotator cuff muscles of my shoulder. Next, I'm going into my clam shell resistance band. Um, and this is something that you can do without a, a band. This is really gonna work on that external rotation, and everything, and keeping that spine in an extended position so it doesn't hurt your low spine. Now, this next movement is for my neck and everything around my throat area. I've had some fascia issues around my throat, so here I'm just opening up everything with my sternocleidomastoid and the muscles surrounding. So you wanna do this perfectly and flex in your abs. Make sure you're completely straight on that wall and that's me dancing. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> so here is my Bulgarian Bulgarian split squat. Sorry for that language. Um, and I'm doing it with a kettlebell so I'm staying upright, perfect neutral position. Most important thing is not to have my knee going forward too much and putting any tension on that hip flexor. So we wanna sit back and really focus on that posterior quad, so the one further back, right? And you're gonna feel a lot of tension, a lot of tension. And this is more so in real time, so you can see kind of the speed that I'm going in and even the balance issues that I have with that left leg that's working the most there. Next, we're gonna be going up to wall rolls, and you can do this with a foam roller, you can do this with just your arm itself and sliding it up a wall, but this is going to work a lot of your serratus interior. So if you know about your serratus, it really makes your abs pop a lot more because it's right inside of your lats. Now, this is going to be very important exercise when dealing with that and also your rotator cuff muscles and 
full flexion of that shoulder. So mobility and flexibility, this is going to help a lot. So make sure you're doing it correctly. I'm focusing on my elbow within that exercise. Here, I'm just working on some quick movements. I'm staying active between my sets. So um, yes, I have a lot of work to do with my boxing and my Muay Thai, but I'm getting better and that's the most important thing to me. Now here, we're going into a, you can call it a chair extension, a hip thruster with some weight, 35 pounds. I started off with no weight. Now I'm getting stronger and I'm feeling better. Notice my chin and everything is neutral. It's all straight the whole time. I'm tightening in my core and I'm making sure that the movement is perfect. Here, we're going into, and this is a super set, a hold of that trap raise. So we're gonna be focusing on that lower trap. This is gonna work crazy lower trap, a little bit of our lat and our full delt. Incredible exercise, five second hold. Definitely try this when you get a chance without a weight. Then we're gonna go into just resistance filled one arm kneeling pull. This is going to, again, work on my low trap. This is going to open my internal rotation up. So I need to have a bigger chest, right? With everything that I'm doing, especially because of my spine issue now. So this is going to help strengthen my rotator cuff muscles, my rhomboids, my traps, my lats, everything in that area. And then finally, to finish off the workout, and I did do a couple other exercises that I didn't show. I want to show that in other videos with more motivation and epicness. Um, this is just, again, focusing on that posterior chain of the capsule of that shoulder and there you have it that's my workout i hope you enjoyed all right fam we are done with the work oh my i'm freaking stuck in the net again yeah we're done with the workout and maury over here has something to tell you what up everybody i hope you guys are getting it in brandon i know is killing it today just keep on staying motivated keep on watching brandon i mean he's a a huge motivation to me huge motivation to all the people yes. that, that he comes around with and and as long as you stay with it as long as you keep on going Ooh. only big things are in your future oh maury that's my boy <laughs> plc baby performance lab of california let's ride Your boy's ready to eat. Like I said, Maury's here. Well, I didn't tell you that. He was just gonna be here anyways. But remember here the three lean foods that you need to be eating to build a lot of muscle. I'm about to give it to you actually right now as we go in to eat. Um, so enjoy. All right, enough of this Chipotle. Let's get started with the three most effective foods for lean muscle gain. Three of the most effective foods. Start the oven at 375 degrees, sweet potato time. Tin foil is all you need. No seasoning, no olive oil. Don't even poke it. This is a great source of vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin B6. Like I said, you don't need any extra stuff. Just put it in the oven and you're good to go. Leave it in there for about an hour and 40 to an hour and 50 minutes, and I guarantee in incredible results. Next, we have ground lamb, 100% grass-fed, excellent source of iron. You also have a protein powerhouse right in front of you, and of course, fatty acids. Scramble it up, and you're good to go. Next, we have zucchini. Let's grub. This is a high source of antioxidants and vitamin C. Great anti-inflammatory for you. And <laughs> let me tell you something. If you're going to eat a vegetable, this is delicious. All you need is a little bit of salt, pepper, Throw some garlic on there and you're good to go. Oh, that's just a little pop of my vitamin C and a little bit of electrolytes. And this is the final product. Boom, looking good, feeling good, gaining weight. Let's go. All right, so um, I got a package. This is a TRX Go. Basically, it's just a TRX. Just a simple version. And now I can use bodyweight training a little bit more advanced style, right? So like I have your push, you have your pulls, you have your planks, you have your rotations, hinges, everything with this freaking thing. Oh, but there's more. Come on now. 
What are you doing? You got this, come on. I'm about to end the vlog, but uh, I saw Caesar and I was like, man, straight on, let's go, let's see it. Let's freaking see the handstand. So I'm gonna end it there. It's been a long day, but very, very productive. We are killing it every single day. Today is day seven. Day eight is going to be even more lit. You're gonna see this bad boy, and when I got it made, by the way, I was talking about my tattoo, and then a couple other things, you're gonna see me training, really cool stuff, we gotta keep grinding, we gotta keep grinding. Remember, Body Evolution Challenge is in the description just for a couple more weeks, and then, and then, I don't, I actually don't know what's that. Thanks for tuning in, subscribe, like that freaking button, I, that, the button's like, it's up there, so it's down here, tab, hit that like button, and I'll see you tomorrow.